Howdy all and welcome to Lax Lives. I think it's time we play a little uh Void World. Alright. So uh I have well I put a little work in here today, pulling out cakes and stuff, obviously because I'll never be done pulling out cakes. Um but uh I uh yeah, I thought uh, a couple of things probably going to work on today. Um, one of the things I want to do is I think I want to replace my item ducks. I know there's a lot of them, but um, I was thinking that uh, it's really time I stop messing around with miles and miles of item ducks and maybe start replacing some things with tesseracts, you know, because it'll make life easier and they're pretty easy to make for me at this point and uh, <laughs> uh not only that but I can uh I can uh you know switch down to uh, the really powerful like resonant flux ducks cuz I won't need miles and miles of it and uh um I can swap out for a lot of things and have like central repositories for things so instead of having 18 different chests for, you know, holding odds and ends, um, or like, you know, any matter relays everywhere, I can just feed everything into look at that poor creeper just stand there all by himself. Um, but I can just feed him into a central point and, you know, it'll make my life a lot easier, I think. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and make the, uh, First thing we're going to do is make the uh, Builder's Wand. Oh, I hear you in there, Wither Cat. That's right. <coughs> and thus ends the Wither Cat. Uh, so, because um, I figure this field here is probably going to go, and I'll probably add another wheat field out here. Um, or out there, maybe. And probably get rid of this potato field. What I'll probably do is this, is I'll add a wheat field here and then a potato field here uh, at the max size and get rid of these little tiny fields because they're not really helping me a whole lot, are they? They're, they're too small. takes them too long to get anything done. Uh, and I think that'll just be, be a little bit easier on me. So... Uh, okay, so first up, we got to look how to make... A builder's wand. Builder's wand. I think it's just like a stick. Uh, super builder's wand. Oh, man. Doesn't tell me how to make that, though. So, uh, But a builder's wand is obsidian and an unstable ingot. An unstable ingot is a diamond and an iron ingot. Uh, so not too bad. So let's get the, uh, let's get the diamond... Well, I say not too bad, but <laughs> things can go bad. Iron, iron ingot, and piece of obsidian, and we're also going to need a crafting bench. Do not just have crafting bench in here. I just need one simple little crafting bench. There you are. Because there's no way I'm making this thing at my base. Unstable ingots explode if you don't use them fast enough. I'm not sure I've ever actually exploded while using them, but I know that they can. And so we have to be pretty quick once we start in here with it. So it is a diamond an iron ingot and our activated division sigil there it is oh it's counting down it's counting down look at it count down oh it's counting down oh whoosh. builder's wand <laughs> now I'm kinda curious like what happens if it counts all the way down how bad of an explosion does it do would it kill me Like, would it completely obliterate the building I'm on? Uh, let's leave my brand new builder's wand here. 
Well, I guess that didn't matter, did it? Because I could just go back and get it. I've got back up. Oh, I need a diamond. Diamond. May lose a division sigil in this, though. Well, no, because I can get that back in my inventory. Okay, here we go. Diamond, iron ingot, division sigil. Oh! 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 I died. It was instantaneous. I thought I'd at least get to throw it on the ground. That was my plan. Uh, back up. Jetpack. <laughs> Alright, unstable ingots not messing around. Oh, I didn't blow anything up. Just me. Well, that's cheap. I expected there to be a giant hole here. It was nothing. You're not even a real explosion. Ma'am. I expected at least a real explosion. Okay, but we do got the builder's one now. And that is really helpful when making things. Whoops. Platforms. So let's grab some dirt. Too much dirt. Hopefully it's not disabled. Um... I went to use one one time, and it was, uh, I made the Builder's Wand, and then it wasn't part of the pack. That was awesome. Alright, so first we got to make a row, so it knows what we're doing. Okay. And then you got the Builder's Wand... And it does this. <laughs> Which is awesome. And see, it's smart enough not to go beyond where you want it to. Oh, that's two fields. <laughs> Oops. Uh, why is there a hole here? Builder's Wand, why did you give me a hole? think is that uh, too far or what let's see one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty whoops yeah I screwed that right up uh, so that was t 13 14 15 16 17 18 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. <laughs> Man, remember last time when I was filling this in? <laughs> it's a little bit easier this time. Oop, I totally left a hole all the way down the middle. Well, we can 
Fill that in too. Don't get all weird on me. I saw you trying to do something weird. Look at that. A whole field already filled in. How awesome is that? I love the Builder's Wand. It's probably one of the most... Am whoops. Whoops. One of the most amazing tools for... Uh, a void world like this one. Ugh, whatever. It can just stay for now. I'll worry about the excess later. Skeleton, I'm trying to do something here. Oh. Oh, I'm out of dirt. I'm out of dirt. Oh. Man. Look at that creeper riding on that skeleton, or that spider. Spider's not a skeleton, buddy. Spider's not a skeleton. Man, I need one of those explosive ingots now to get... Hey. Get rid of this. All right. So that's the Builder's Wand, and it's awesome. And I will use it to finish off those two fields in a bit. Uh, for now, though, let's grab some Tesseract frames. Um... And we'll need some uh, pearls. I'm sure we will need pearls. Oh, it's full of glowstone. Dang it. I don't need glowstone in there at the moment. I need... Oh, and you don't have a thing on you. Here, you're not doing anything. Come with me. <laughs> okay, that's not quite where I wanted you to go. Alright, there we go. And you need to input from the top. Two, three, four, five. I got too many pearls. Six... Finish that off, and you can start filling, filling my frames. All right, now, Tesseract. Uh, so to make a Tesseract, I'm going to need bronze and silver ingots. Okay. Bronze, I'm going to need one, two, three, four. <laughs> this is so, so easy. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Done. All right. So we'll still, we'll wait for that to finish over there a little bit more. And then I also want to do um, some better flux duct. And some better, um, yeah, this is what we're going to need. Is that something I can pull out of the, oh, dude, I can just pull it right out of here. I don't even have to make it. You can just grab it and then you can fill it for me when those are done. And then I also got that um, uh, item duct. I thought we might upgrade the item ducts. Item. I am typing it in the wrong spot. It's probably this is what I need, right? Uh, warp. What's a fluctuating? Transfers items, transfers redstone flux. I'm pretty sure I just want warp. Oh, wait, what's impulse? Maybe impulse is what I want. Items travel more rapidly. Yeah, I just want 
this, which means I need all that glowstone I just did. Um, impulse item duct. Which does not have... Okay, they all can't be the same thing. How do you make an impulse item duct? Is it just an item duct run through the glowstone? It doesn't tell me. Or no, it does tell me. I gotta do this here. Is it just an item duct filled with glowstone? Got it. Uh, one of them takes RF. I don't want that one. I want the other one. How are we doing? Uh, we're up to 18 of these now. We can go work with this a little bit while I'm waiting for the rest of those to go through. Ooh, there's probably room to put some more pearls in here, too. And let's, uh... Uh, where's my infuser? That's a smelter, buddy. Oh, look at you with a charged energy cell in you. Weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got to turn these. <laughs> I try to run off a little too fast here. I'm going to go stick just filled frames. I don't, I don't really need them to do anything. Man. Oh, I forgot they don't stack. Got her head. Oh, I've got too much stuff. I've got way too much stuff on me for this to happen. Uh, uh, you can get out of here, I guess, and you can get out of here, um, you can get out of here, there we go, alright, I managed to get everything back in my inventory, well, not the stuff I just threw on the ground, uh, okay, so, like, these guys here, uh, I'm gonna want one... I'm going to want one tagged on here. Yeah, I totally can't pick that up. Like so. And then... We're going to give it a frequency... Uh, one. And we'll just call it... Power. power and it is energy I guess send and receive is fine so it will receive why does it say frequency zero it's supposed to be on one I sit you to one dude Whatever. Uh, and so with that like that, then any place that needs power, like this mess over here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Then we can take this out. And we just pop in one of these. And then we set it to power and see these should totally be receiving power at all times which is what it's supposed to do uh, now, the real trick, though, is going to be that what we do next with it, this is where it gets a little trickier, I think. Um, I am going to yeah. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, what I'll eventually do is I will set it to... 
I will go around and I will set item items sent through it too. Okay, so now you don't need this. And then like these two here um, both need to be attached. And then we also set you to the energy mode of receive. Oh no, because I'm actually getting rid of you. Yeah, that's right. So you don't need power. You guys down. Oh man, look at the mess I made. Wow. That is a huge mess. That's all me. <laughs> Come to me. Come to me, my pretty. Pretty? Is that what he says? Can't remember. It's a quote from Conan the Barbarian. Uh, he might just say, Come to me. Uh, Alright, so then you... You aren't going to be attached to this anymore. You're going to be attached here. I guess I did need that flux duct in there, which I'm going to replace with resonant eventually here. And then you're connected to the power. I think we have to be careful with how much power we connect to it. Um, I think there is a limit on how much it can send and receive. Pretty sure there is. I think it's about a hundred RF. So I will probably wind up with multiple tesseracts attached to my power output. Um, my big thing, though, is that, uh, like, like seeds, I should be able... Dude, you and your stupid leather hat. I'm trying to work here! So let me set you to power. Alright, so the power's all up. Um, but we can also send, like... Like, um, oh, if I had some liquid duct on me, like, if we do this, uh, <laughs> I gotta move away before it. I don't think it'll kill me, though, will it? It won't kill me, it'll just, uh, knock me down to half a heart, right? So I'm fine with that, whatever. Uh, and so then we make here one, and we do two. We call it sludge. Okay, so that's on sludge duty. And then um, I don't have any fluid duct on me, though. Fluid duct. All right, and so then we come over to like this one here, and we put a piece of fluid duct on the side, and we put a tesseract, and then we set the tesseract to send fluid, and we attach it to sludge, and then all the sludge pumps out of here all the way over to there, and I didn't have to do anything, which is awesome. Um, but that is, that is, uh, we're going to wind up with one more, um, that's going to split things up a bit here, I think. Uh, so the other thing I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to drop one, dude, can you not see me working here? 
Look, either be there or don't be... Oh, no! No! Dang it. Dang him. You cheaty bugger. Cobble. I need some cobble. I'm gonna have to build a little platform so I can get my stuff back because cheaty guy who isn't really there but is really there is cheaty. I don't want to lose my stuff. I probably don't need it out that far, but... Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to uh, have all my harvesters that are doing, like, wheat and seeds to send all their wheat and seeds to single chests. And then have everything that needs wheat and seeds pull out of that single chest instead of constantly putting in new... new, uh... Come on, guys. I'm working here. Sludge did this to me. Man, did I really use up that many of my things that all my gear is still available? I guess so. Uh, ooh, that's not my pickaxe. Gotta get rid of this, because I don't want mobs spawning here. Because I got enough spawning over there. Okay, now, I drop this guy. That's fine. There's fine. Whatever. And then we do one called... We'll put it on three. And it will... Send items... And we'll call it uh, Wheat Harvest. Alright. And then... Um, I guess here's probably good. Uh, oh, I need a chest. Didn't I just grab a chest? What did I grab a chest for? Oh yeah, I used it over there with the cake production. Okay, and so then we'll do, um, put chest there, and then I need, uh, well, I need item duct. I don't have any item duct on me. Oh, you didn't finish. I don't have enough room for anything. <laughs> I got so much junk on me. Let's swap you out for the resonant fluid duct for the moment. And then you guys can hang out up here. Wait, wait. This is flux duct. What, what the heck is wrong with my brain? Um, yeah, I just need some item duct for a minute here. Item... Item duct. Thank you. Which I realize I'm going to be replacing as soon as I get a chance to make some impulse item duct. Uh, and that is in the wrong spot anyways. Um, because this is going to go here and here. And you will go here. And then we'll do a tesseract on the uh, uh 
Dang invisible blocks. Right, either side of that became nothing. Okay, so now you become a uh, receive mode only wheat harvest. And so wheat and seeds will come into here. And then you become... Oh. Okay, well, here's where it gets tricky. So I'm going to need two off of here. And I'm going to need some filters. Because I'm going to have to... I only want wheat and seeds. Wheat. And... Seeds. And... A couple of retrievers. I think I can use these together. I honestly, it's been so long since I used these. Um, I'm not sure if I have to send into them or if I can pull into them. I know that's not... Okay. So now you become seeds, and I think that's a uh, four? And you can become wheat. And you are item mode send only. Send only. And you are seeds. Okay. So I should be able to do this and this and this and on. And then that should pull seeds out of there into the Tesseract. And you will do wheat out of there, yes, into the Tesseract. And then when something needs them, <laughs> look at that. And then this guy down here, of course, is going to need um, an item duct and a Tesseract. And the Tesseract is set to uh, item mode receive only, and you are on seed duty. Check. And there we go. So that will receive seeds. Which means all of this can go away. Plus with my uh, chest back at base receiving seeds, um, I can now move like my bio, uh, my bio fuel generation over to my base because I really don't think it's working correctly where it's at. And uh, if it gets tapped into multiple multiple uh, fields with extra seeds, I think that'll be great. So, uh, all right, with that, I am going to call it a day. So click like if you like, subscribe, be sure, and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>